electric bikes are trying to win our hearts on and off the road, and these four-wheeled velomobiles could be a viable solution for some looking to cut down on car driving. They are not actually electric bikes or cars, but they have four wheels. Plus, with a fully enclosed cabin, you're protected from the elements, so you can ride whatever the weather. In the Citic Car Epic, the driver rider is the range extender. Created by Norwegian company Citic as, the vehicle is pedaled like a bike, with a 250-watt motor, augmenting the rider's pedaling power. However, the pedals aren't directly linked to the drivetrain. Instead, the Citic features what is simply described as a software-managed drivetrain like you find in electric cars. Because the motor is amplifying the rider's pedaling power instead of just mirroring it, though, the battery still needs to be pre-charged from an outlet. In the case of the Citic, one 5-hour charge of the vehicle's two batteries is said to be good for a range of 70 to 100 kilometers. A windshield, roof and side doors help protect riders from the wind and rain. The cabin can be configured to seat either two adults, one behind the other, one adult and two children, or one adult and extra cargo space. The vehicle measures 87 cm wide by 155 cm tall by 222 cm long, weighs a claimed 68 kg, and can handle a maximum load of 300 kg. According to its designers, it legally qualifies as an EBIC, meaning that it can be driven in bike lanes and other car-free areas. It also doesn't require a driver's license to operate. The Citic is available now for pre-order via the company website, with deliveries expected to commence sometime this year. It is priced at €7,450. Stork X Podbike Freiker Affordable Enclosed E-Bike Velomobile To replace your car German bike company Stork and Norwegian micro-mobility startup Podbike have teamed up to bring their Freiker E-Velomobile to a larger market, providing an alternative transportation option for cyclists looking to get out of their cars for short trips. The 203 mag wheeled Podbik Freiker is 2.36 meters long x 83.9 centimeters wide x 1.19 meters tall, making it just a bit wider than a modern enduro bike's handlebar. The 90 kilograms, empty, fully independent suspension Freiker is powered by a pair of 25 km per hour limited 250 WE bike motors. There is no mechanical link between the pedals and wheels, rather, your pedal input into one motor generator, and the energy is transferred by wire to motors. Interestingly, Podbik estimates that the aerodynamics of the shell should cancel out the additional weight and rolling resistance penalties, making it require an average of about 100 W from the rider to pedal along at 30 km per hour, what they say is the same as a conventional road bike. Podbik are taking pre-orders now with a 300 euro deposit to lock in a reservation for one of the first Frikers. Final prices will start at 4,995 euros, not including VAT, shipping or extra add-ons. Stork and Podbik say they already have over 3,000 pre-orders and are currently expecting to deliver the Friker to those who place new pre-orders now. Sometime in 2023. Don't throw away your car keys yet. Biohybrid from Scheffler, all-weather pedelec with four wheels, this four-wheeled pedelec has a windshield and a fold-out roof element that protects the rider from the sun's rays and rain. There is an open storage space in the rear for shopping. Small children can be seated in a child's seat behind the driver. The compact dimensions of 2.10 meters in length and only 85 centimeters in width make the biohybrid the ideal city mobile. The time-consuming search for a parking space should be a thing of the past with the Scheffler, which is only 1.50 meters high. Scheffler Biohybrid is as easy as riding a bicycle, the biggest advantage of the concept, it leaves like a bicycle control yourself intuitively. The 424-inch wheels give the driver greater driving stability, which at the same time increases road safety and driving pleasure in curves. Since it is a maximum of 25 km hour, you don't need an extra driver's license. Depending on the driving level, however, the driver has to pedal to different degrees. The biohybrid drives purely electrically up to 6 km hour. A boost function makes it easier to start off with the 80 kg biohybrid. The biohybrid offers a range of up to 100 km with a battery, the biohybrid supports up to 50 km and has 250 to 750 km watts rated power. 
The compact battery can be easily removed and charged like a laptop at any socket. The price will be at the level of upper-class Pedelex, that is, between 5,000 and 7,000 euros. DryCycle is the rather undecided e-bike with some car functionality, although commuting by bicycle certainly is good for oneself and the environment, there are days when it's just too wet or too cold. It's on just such days, though, that the four-wheeled, fully enclosed, motor-assisted dry cycle is intended to really shine. Once they get pedaling, users are assisted by a 250-watt Shimano Steps E8000 motor. The cycle has a top electric assist speed of 25 km per hour and can reportedly travel up to 48 km on one 4-hour charge of its dual 500WH Shimano batteries, a separate 270WH battery is used to power its full lighting system and other electronics. Some of its other features include full front and rear suspension, hydraulic disc brakes, side stick style steering, an electric horn, and a remote operated electronic cockpit locker heater and a windshield wiper are available as extras. The whole thing weighs a claimed 120 kilograms, which is also its maximum rider cargo payload. If you are okay with the price of around $19,000, then this electric vehicle is the right solution for you. Padilio Solar Velomable created by German inventor Thomas Bebach, the single passenger vehicle incorporates a 21-speed pedal drive drivetrain going to its right rear wheel, along with a hub motor in its left rear wheel, the latter augments the rider's pedaling power. Plans call for there to be two versions of this setup. One will incorporate a 250-watt motor to take riders up to a top electric assist speed of 25 km per hour, while the other will have a 500-watt motor and a 45 km per hour top speed. The second cone configuration will cause the Padilio to be classified as a light motor vehicle, with riders requiring a driver's license. Motor power is provided by a lithium-ion battery pack. In the 500-watt version of the Velomobile, this provides a reported range of about 60 km. With a powder-coated steel frame and a carbon fiber cabin, the current prototype tips the scales at about 68 kg and has a maximum payload capacity of 130 kg. Some of its other features include independent suspension on all four of the 20-inch wheels, front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, and a full lighting system with turn indicators. The price, expected for Padilio in the basic configuration, is €9,250. Swedish design engineer Mikkel Gelman has set out to change that with his decidedly car-like podride. Gelman's 70kg creation features four wheels for added stability, a waterproof fabric body mounted on an aluminum frame, and a seat height that offers the same visibility as that of a small car. He's been using the prototype as a daily commuter for the past year in all four seasons and found it to be a very practical and comfortable little vehicle. Augmenting the rider's pedaling power is a 250-watt crankshaft-mounted motor, taking the pod ride to an electronically limited top speed of 25 km per hour. One charge of the onboard battery pack should be good for a motor-assisted range of about 60 km. Other features include a full LED lighting system, 14-speed hub transmission, air sprung suspension, rear cargo compartment, interior defogging fan, and a manually operated windshield wiper. The podride is narrow enough to fit on regular bike paths and is classified as an e-bike in Sweden, that means no special licenses or insurance are required in order to use it. Estimated price, Canyon Bikes Builds a Car, German bike manufacturer Canyon, has released what it believes to be the future of transport, calling it the future mobility concept a single-seater, pedal-powered vehicle which will help ease your commuting woes. It's essentially a recumbent bike with four wheels and an added shell to protect you from the elements, the shell can slide forward to get in and out or to allow ventilation while riding. There is also storage space behind the driver's seat where you can load in shopping, luggage or even a child. Only when you see the narrow, 83cm front does it begin to dawn on you that this could be an electric bike. Canyon's concept vehicle is not only different from other Velomobiles in terms of its design. It is also powered differently, offering considerably more electric assistance than its Pedelec cousins. 
This bike is designed to enable speeds of up to 60 km per hour, rather than ceasing to provide assistance at 25 km per hour. To achieve this, it has two electric motors with 1000 watts of power each, and a battery with an approximate capacity of 2 kWh to deliver a range of some 150 km. It is as yet unclear when Canyon hopes to put this futuristic vehicle on the market. And we still don't know what price it will have.